Hi, my name is Michael Hart. I am demonstrating my projectile motion function that I created for Engineering 267. The, you can see here that the function takes an initial position, an initial height, an initial velocity, and an angle of trajectory. Here I define um, the parameters for each of the inputs, saying that the initial position has to be greater than or equal to zero, same with the height, initial velocity has to be greater than zero, and the trajectory angle is between zero and 90 degrees. First thing I do is close everything, all previous plot, graphs and plots. Um, next I check to see if the initial conditions are met, and if they are not met, um, I handle it down here with an else statement um, saying that there was an error on the initial condition and it prints it, the, the printf message. The next thing I wanted to do is I needed to define some variables. So for instance I have gravity here. I have my time in steps of 0 0.05 seconds going from 0 to 60. Uh, I convert the angle into radians and then we have our x values and the y values based upon the initial position, initial velocity, and the initial height. I wanted to get the total flight time and I use this equation here to get that. And to get the max height, I use the max function instead of using an equation. Um, this simplifies the code, makes it easier to understand, and also gives me the position of the time and the x component for when the max height occurs, and I can use that later. Um, and then right here I'm figuring out the horizontal displacement, the total horizontal displacement. The first output that I do, um, I make a table that gives us the max height, the max location, the range, which is the horizontal displacement, the total flight time, and like I said, it results in a table, and I will demonstrate that. Okay. To create the plot, first I create uh, a figure, and I wanted to do a 3D plot with time, um, displacement, and height. And so rotate 3D works right there. And then I'm going to plot plot 3D. Um, this this here plots a red dot at the max height, so defines. These right here, the i's and the c's, are the positions of each each variable, the time, the displacement, and the height at the max height. And I'll put a red marker the size of 40 at that position. Next, we have a for loop uh, that goes for the length of from one to the length of time, um, and does a little dot and plots it and pauses so it, you can see it happening like the projectile is being launched. Now I'll demonstrate um, the project. So down here, um, I called the function, and I'm saying the zero displace or zero initial position, um, then zero height, the initial velocity of 50, and an uh, angle of uh, trajectory at 45 degrees. Here, here you can see the 3D graph, um, the red dot at the ha max height, and um, total distance over here is around 260 time about 7.25 seconds, and the height is around a little over 60 meters. And you can see down here in the table that it outputted the same the same results so they match. Now if we run it again but I change the initial height to a hundred you can see you can see starting off at a hundred um, and then goes it goes a little bit farther but the max height is um, about a hundred exactly 100 um, meters higher because of that and the max height location is the same and the time of flight is longer and the range is longer. Um, now I want to show the air handling so say we wanted to throw it at 
negative 50 meters per second, which doesn't really make any sense. Or if they input it up by accident, I'd press enter and the, the output would be an error. And it says that will tell the user the initial conditions that need to be met for this particular program. And that's everything for my demonstration. Thank you for listening.